What's up guys? It's Jason here. Um, this will be my second video, obviously, day two. I don't know if this is how it's gonna be, but um, my buddy, um, brother, buddy, friend, mentor, confidant, whatever you wanna call him, all those things, and then some, I'm sure, partner um, told me the other day, you know, start doing, um, <clears throat> start doing some gratitude lists. And I was like, yeah, I'm down for that, you know, but I think as I mentioned in the other video, I really fucking suck <laughs> at writing. Not that I know, I'm good at writing, the act of writing and getting to the act of writing is what I'm terrible at. You know, I think about it all day. Think, 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 think. All right, you're going to sit down and write. You're going to do it later. You know, when it's nice and quiet, that quiet never, that quiet moment never comes. I got a daughter, I got a wife, you know, I got a life. Um, so there's just always something to do, you know, good problems, good problems, not complaining whatsoever. Got some light in my face. Excuse me, I'm driving, so I'm not going to make eye contact with the phone as much as possible so I can uh, be a responsible driver. But, um, uh, yeah, so gratitude. What am I grateful for? I did one yesterday on my notes and, you know, it was like, the, it being like my first list I did, it was all very stereotypical i'm grateful to be alive i'm grateful to be healthy i'm grateful to have a family you know all the stuff that you would you know one would be grateful for um and you know that's all very very true uh but what i am also like today waking up you know uh me and uh my buddy um you know we started he he invited me in on this thing that he does little his business and stuff like that and you know i was happy to jump in and learn the ropes and it's still early i think we're not even a month in you know days work anyway um and it's all going great and then you know yesterday or yeah yesterday and the day before we were talking about you know me kind of splintering off under the same umbrella but getting my own um my own company underneath the the larger umbrella that we work under or as and you know that was like super stoked like <laughs> like fuck yeah this is what i've been you know wanting to do and, and like thinking about but just never knew the path to get there or you know um just kind of those these are all those are all things that are like i don't know like for the average person you know getting from point a to point like z or g or f even b it can be difficult or take a long fucking time but this guy is one of those guys that just knows how to get, you know, sees that path and starts walking it and gets you there. And he decided to, you know, reach out a hand and, and pull, pull me up into his, his world. And I'm fucking like, that's what I'm fucking grateful for. Um, you know, and I'm, I couldn't sleep last night. You know, I was like super excited. You know, I just laying there like, ooh, this is kind of cool. You know, like... Uh, so, you know, that I'm grateful for that, you know, I'm grateful for waking up early this morning. I got shit done, you know, I made breakfast for my wife and daughter, and, you know, and, um, check my email. <laughs> Not that I get any important emails yet. Um, actually I did get one, you know, which was cool. So, um, you know, I'm grateful to have money in the bank. You know, we got my wife and I, we're not struggling. We're not rich by any means, but we're not like wanting for anything. Like everything's fucking good. Usually this time of year, like in previous years. Oh, and let me mention that. And the pre I, I mentioned that I, I recovered an alcoholic and all that, you know, in previous years, this <laughs> I was a fucking mess this time of year, every year for the last like six years. So. You know, this is a huge, a huge improvement, you know, on, on just what I am and who I am. You know, waking up early, making bread, dropping my daughter off at daycare, being involved in work that I like and, you know, making money and, and there's no stress, you know, like I was just, yeah. And, and these are all things that just never, ever would have happened, you know. Um, so, you know, I, I'm just, I'm super grateful for that. Um, and like what else am I grateful for I mean just, there's a lot like when you start to like do the list <laughs> whether it's mentally verbally you know just put it out there in the car like how I'm doing on video write it down you start to like really holy shit yeah I'm also grateful for that and I'm grateful for this and you know it's fucking great um, you know and, and um, so you know and what else what else do we got here 
you know, I'm just grateful for it. Like I, so I'm into astrology and, and um, tarot and you know numerology and just all that stuff. Every single bit of it, you know. Am I full blown like you know trust the crystals? No. <laughs> you know, much like everything else, even the program that I'm in, religion, you know, you you still got to do a lot of the legwork, you know, the stars, the universe, the source, God, you know, whatever you want to do, you, you, you know, they'll set you up, but you got to get out there and, and, and make it happen, you know, um, you can't just sit idly by and, and, and hope whatever you're reading or seeing or, or whatever is going to it fall on the place. Sometimes, I guess, sometimes that happens. But, um, no. You gotta get out there and do it. And, you know, what I'm grateful for today, too, is like, just being on a path. You know, a good path, so far. Um, having a path. Fuck, a clear one, you know. I never, I've never, I don't think I've ever had a clear path before. Um, it feels fucking great to have direction. You know. Um, and being in charge of that direction for the most part, at least, or even just having, I'm fucking grateful for having a group of people that I can bounce shit off of instead of my own crazy, you know, batshit crazy self to be like, is this the right thing? Yeah, sure, asshole. Like, no. Um, I actually have people that, like in my life now that I can run things by and, and multiple people. You don't ever just ask one. It's just like asking a doctor, you know, or whatever. Get some multiple opinions, you know. Um, and then, and then, I guess even like with uh, news these days, you know, you can't just trust one source. <laughs> you know, you can, but, you know, good luck with that. Um, so, you know, I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for having a group of people. I'm grateful for having a path. Um, you know, and, and I think that's my gratitude list for the morning. You know, um, I'm on my way to a meeting. I'm going to be a little late, but whatever, right? As long as I'm there, that's all that matters. As my sponsor told me, just show up, take what you need, and get the fuck out, you know? There's no reason to fucking, it's not a show, you know? You don't need to be there fucking proselytizing and doing this, that, and the other. Get what you need, say some cool shit, maybe. Hopefully influence, you know, not influence, but hopefully inspire somebody to fucking stay sober another day and, and get the fuck out. <laughs> um, so that's what I'm hopefully going to do. I don't know if I'm going to share. Uh, I guess we'll see what the reading's all about and if I feel so inclined I may say something as I normally do um, but it's been a while it's been probably over a week since I've been to a meeting um, so I'm actually kind of excited I wanted to try to go yesterday but you know as I said in the mornings the timing's just got to be like perfect for me to get to this meeting at the very least on time like I think right now I'm probably running about I don't know, between 10 and 15 minutes late but whatever, you know, if I'm like 20 minutes late, I kind of like, eh, seems a little, eh, because then I got to leave early to get to start work on time, um, either way, so, but anyway, like, uh, like my sponsor told me, get in, take what you need, hopefully inspire, say some cool shit, get out, go about your day, um, and, you know, um, that's what I'm going to do, and, like, I'm super stoked, I'm looking forward to the day. feeling today's gonna go really well just like tomorrow will go there's no reason shit shouldn't go well right i mean i feel like when you have a bad day it's like a choice you know you can you can i mean bad shit could happen but it's a choice to let it affect you you know um i had some fucking dweeb fucking get under my skin last friday and it affected my day you know because i let it you know I just wanted to have whatever reason I had some maybe some other things brewing in my, my brain and you know this guy just was like the perfect excuse to like yeah you know what let's let it fuck my day up a little bit you know and whatever maybe uh, maybe we need to have days like that you know not every day can be fucking great and beautiful I mean <laughs> you know what no they can be why not but uh, you know my batting average is <laughs> not very well it's better than it has been in the past but um yeah, it's, it's a work in progress. You know, I am not a saint. I, uh, I'm just out here trying my best. And, um, I, feel like, I feel like lately I've been nailing it, you know, um, as best I can. You know, I'm doing shit that I've never done in the past. I went to fucking Home Depot last night. You want to talk about putting your dad pants on, like fucking major dad boner. Like I just love, I walked around there like a fucking 
weirdo. You ever see those weirdos at Disneyland that just with their cameras? That's what I felt like last night. You know, like you don't know if it's okay for them to do that. Like you hope they have like permission from the park, but you never know. <laughs> I was wearing weird shorts or something and have like too much like luggage type uh, bags. Like uh, I don't know, I don't like that. You know, it's like I better see your photos posted on Instagram for the public. You know, at some point. Um, <laughs> but anyway. Uh, yeah, so I just bought some random shit, you know, nothing too crazy. Um, just some things, uh, my garage has got some issues. I put up a punching bag and the whole, um, scaffolding, it's really old, you know, as old as the house is. It's like, I think in like the 40s or some shit. And, you know, when you get going on it, <laughs> the whole thing just starts to fucking shake and, uh, yeah, it's it, it, not, it, everything's solid. Like nothing's gonna fall apart, but it just looks sketchy as fuck. Um, and yeah, so I bought some things that'll hopefully like shore that up, and it's still gonna be way, way significantly cheaper than buying a, a punching bag stand. Cause I got a great deal on this punching bag. It's like usually like 180 bucks. I got it for 80 bucks. Um, fucking sales, right? Uh, yeah, cancel the holidays, but. Black Friday all day. Uh, it's all online anyway. Nobody's really going to stores, so whatever. I did, but um, you know, whatever. That's that. Um, so yeah, just uh, where was I? Hmm. I'm thinking if there's any other cool shit that I've listened to her. Oh, so yeah, all the uh, I was listening to this t this chick. Um, oh man, I'm not remember her fucking name right now. Buddy Brandon um, turned me on to her. Um, I think he knows her or knew her. Or somehow there's a connection there. Um, but uh, he turned, uh, sent me in her direction. She just does some like great readings. Um, I'll see if maybe I can learn how to tag uh, or, or uh, put something in the notes on who she is and how to get to her page. I, I will do that. Uh, why not, right? Um, but she was just saying some shit that just reaffirmed everything that I've been feeling like you know like don't doubt yourself like stay the court everything's going fucking great like but I have a tendency and apparently all cancers do of being this like doubting Thomas like we can never just fully accept when things are good and that's been like a running theme of my fucking life you know what I mean like I never know if I'm doing the right thing the wrong thing like I'm just kind of just going but like now, the difference between now and then is like now I, I, you know, I have a clear and focused mind. Like I can make these decisions um, and, and feel good about them. And it's not just me doing things because somebody told me to or it's the right thing to do. Like I can trust myself. And that was another thing that she said too is like, you know, something, I forget what, whatever card it was that she pulled that, like, you know, I'm looking for forgiveness from somebody, but, like, I need to let that shit go and just look for forgiveness internally. Like, forgive my fucking self, you know. Um, forgive myself. That's good enough. And stay the course and, and continue down this path that I'm on. Because it's, it's definitely outside the box of what's the norm for me or what most people consider normal, I guess. But it, it's it's so firing off like the side of my personality that hasn't been fired upon in like a very long time, and it feels fucking good, you know. I wouldn't be doing shit like this either, you know. Uh, probably gonna shave the beard. I noticed we did like a video the other day, and no, I am not as pretty as I once was uh, in the beard. Uh, you know, the only reason I grow the beard is because I got the bald head and. Uh, yeah, it's still not working. <laughs> I grow a really good gnarly long beard, which looks cool, but when I was drinking, I just looked like a fucking psychopath. Um, you didn't know if I was gonna blow up the building or if I was just a drunk fucking hobo, you know? So, yeah, that was very um, funny. <laughs> I saw pictures of the last time I had it long, and it was like, ugh. One side's just thicker than the other. Eyes couldn't open. You know, I, was, I mean, I looked like I was having a good time, but, ugh. You know, <laughs> fucking shit show. Um, swollen. It was disgusting. Um, 
So anyways, uh, yeah, so I, I just loved what I heard this morning. And, and you know, it, it, it coincided with a lot of the other astrology stuff that I was reading. Um, I'm subscribed to this one app. Subscribe, I'm just, I have this app that I downloaded called The Pattern. I fucking love it. It's like super creepy, accurate. <laughs> you know, you punch in your birth date, your coordinates, your time. And it's, it's, I like it because it's not super woo. Like, and it's the way it, it uh, it doesn't come off really woo when you're reading it, which is cool. You know, it's very practical sounding for the most part. I mean, it's got a little bit in there, but not much. It's uh, but I can appreciate that. And then I have another little woo astrology app that you know, it's it's more of like that like stereotypical um, type of uh, uh, astrology reading. But I like it. It's cool. It's fun. It's a little bit more general, but um, yeah, it's it's all right. So anyways, um, oh, and I fucking, so that other one that I was just talking about, I think it's called like Nebula or something like that, yeah, Nebula. Um, <laughs> they have like a, you know, like a partnership comparing aspect to it, right? So I did me and my wife some time ago where like the universe does not want us to be together, but if we work it out, we're like pretty unstoppable as a couple, you know, as far as like our goals go, we just have bad communication <laughs> so but anyway it makes for great sex uh but uh so i punched in my buddy brandon who i'm working with and you know what's funny as long as we don't he doesn't fall in love with me which is you know difficult and we don't fuck each other we're good like you know like 100 percent on the business and the ideals like we can do this like so that kind of was like pretty cool to see so <laughs> Uh, yeah, so as long as we keep business, we're, you know, we should be, uh, complimentary to each other quite a bit, uh, you know, going forward. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so, anyways, uh, that was, that was kind of my morning so far. Um, oh, I played fucking, what is it, Star, Starlink, um, basically it's like the new version of Star Fox, if anybody remembers, a. You know, Star Fox from Nintendo and Nintendo 64. I fucking love that game. Um, so I downloaded, we have a Switch, a Nintendo Switch. And I used to be a big gamer like in the early 2000s, you know, old school. Um, and before that. Uh, but, you know, lately, I just ain't got time for that shit. Um, you know, um, but last night I sat down and, and uh, I was on the poopa. And <laughs> sat there way longer than I needed to. Um, but anyway, I got, I was able to get some gaming in on that thing. And it's fucking fun. It's really cool. Um, I like the whole... Uh, the gameplay is great. The, the dialogue is exciting. The storyline. I mean, I'm just getting into it. But it's it's captivating. The fucking... The, the battles in space are really fucking... It's, it's what you remember, but like better on steroids, you know. Um, and then once you get into the campaign, you're kind of stranded. And I, I kind of remember this aspect on the, the Nintendo 64, but I felt like you were still up in the air more. But uh, anyway, this one, you're a little bit more ground-based, but you the cool thing is, is like the interlocking and exchange of like the two weapon systems that you have on the ship and like the mods that you can do. Um, it's super cool and i just put it on like extremely hard setting just to why what the fuck what uh right i got nothing better to do uh it's not real it's not real it's not real you know i got a life um <laughs> so yeah i got to play that last night uh so that was cool um what else you know that's kind of all i got for like about 19 minutes in so 20 minutes is cool I'll try to lock these in on a specific uh, time to end, maybe 30. 30 minutes seems fine. I mean, who the fuck am I, right? I mean, I'm sure I could talk longer if I wanted to, but what exactly would I be even talking about? I don't know. Um, I just kind of filled you in on my evening and, and this morning. Um, that's about it. So, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'll do another video tomorrow. Maybe I'll do them every morning. I don't know. Nah, that seems like too much. Especially like zero. Who? <laughs> yeah. So uh, maybe every couple days or once a week or just whenever the fuck I feel like it. You know, there's no rules to this shit. It's another thing I'm trying to figure out. I'm starting to figure out. There are no rules. Nobody knows what the fuck they're doing, and there are no rules to this thing. So don't trust anybody but yourself. Um, hopefully, you can collect some good people in your life, and you can bounce shit off of. But outside of that, 
it's a fucking free for all people <laughs> it is a free for all um so just get out there and get yours stay positive be nice to everybody you don't know what the fuck they're going through um a smile goes a long way you know um and just help out your fellow man ew why did i just say that anyway it holds true but i just sound so douchey um, anyway, that's what I got. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.